Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Attack of the B Team with Kanakadia. Oh, say hey say hey to Elizabeth over there. Elizabeth, say hi. Come on, say hi. Aw, oh, she's shy. It's okay. So, what am I doing today? Well, um, as you know from last episode, I was working a little bit on my garden, and it's coming along fairly nicely. You've got some snowballs coming in here. That's, I got the potatoes and, and the uh, carrots. I actually used quite a bit of the bone meal I had to make those grow faster. I'm getting a fair amount of bellad uh, belladonna, which I need for a lot of the early stuff in uh, witchery, which we're actually going to get to today. So, did not give me any seeds? Oh, that's unusual. Oh, well. Uh, the... The the cotton's still going in slowly, and I, I actually need much more bone meal, so I need to go into the nether when I get a chance and pick up some more of those spines. But it'll take time. It'll do it in its own way. So what am I going to do? I am going to do a, basically a quick version of the start that I did in my PBS Horizon series. I'm going to make a, a, a witchery circle. I got this thing set out. This is the main reason why I have the quad in this shape is for witchery. So this is a 16 by 16, which is the radius you need the um, maximum distance away from this, which is going to be the heart glyph. These six are going to be the altar over here, and these are going to be my, my machines over here, and I got a little specialized chest for witchery ingredients right here. So, I'm looking forward, forward to this. Let's let's get cracking. So, first thing we need is the oven. So, I think we need just this um, iron bucket and some um, iron grate, so let's do that. I grab a couple of my blocks of iron. I was able to consolidate some of my iron into blocks cause, just because I needed this, the space, but I'm work. I'm still working on it. So let's get some fencing. I have a couple spare buckets, so that and oh, that. Sorry. Okay, so one which is oven, and how do you make the filters again? Uh, fume funnels are. Lava. Okay, so I need lava, lava, glowstone, and iron bars. I think I have some glowstone. If not, I'll have to go into the nether and get some. Oh, no, that's ardite. Do I not have any glowstone? Hmm. Okay, field trip. Be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so we are in the nether, and I'm hearing gas all around me. But I have a little bit of netherrack, and I hopefully will be able to go up here and mine this stuff out. That's much trouble. I kind of wish I, I was in Hexit because I wish I had some um, some, some meteorite gear so I could have magnetization on this to make it a little bit easier to mine. But what am I going to do? I should note, however, this this is incredibly dangerous, and um, part of the reason I'm only I mean I'm doing this at all is because I have keep inventory turned on. Oh, and also please note that I have a luck pick. I think it's a, a, I think I got it up to luck two, so. Useful in that regard. A little, bit, a little bit higher. I don't need too much. I still haven't figured out what exactly those ritual circles are for. So if you guys know what they are, please let me know. I'd like to find out. I mean, I mean, if they are, like I suspect, just for decoration, I would love to cut them down and make it and just use the nether rack as a building material or something. But I'm not gonna touch it if it's actually like an active thing. Okay, so I got uh, about half a half a stack of glowstone. I just want to show you. I I did a little bit of work on my on my nether portal here. Built a little bit of, of a enclosure, and that cow keeps going back and forth through it. But uh, this thing is by no means safe. However, I do have this little field here of uh, the spines. This is probably one of my favorite things from Natura. Are these these um, nether spines that that are, are created? Excellent, excellent source of bone meal. Take a little while to mine. I haven't really found a great way to do it. I don't think they're affected by a hammer. I should really try that when I get a chance and actually want to make a hammer. Which is on my to-do list, but I really want to make a, um, a manulin hammer. Just because I'm going to be using it so much. And you, cow, do not go back into the nether. It is not safe for you out there. If you don't go back there, I'm going to kill you. Okay, so... We got the glowstone. The... Simple enough to get a little bit of lava. I've got abundance up here. That thing. Oh, it's an input mode. Oh, that's fine. I'm not using it right at the moment. So I need that. Oh, actually, I need two of these first. So two glowstone. 
Oh, wait, I need, actually need how much? I need four each, so I need eight? Okay. I gotta get some more iron. Alright, been a while. Oh, there's a slime outside. Yeah, the only downside to have, having Elizabeth out there is that every once in a while she lets me know that, that she's here. In a, in a form of her, of her, her little, little growls, but eh, it's okay, because she, she's a sweet, she really, she's really a sweetie. Oh, I need a block of iron too? These seem really expensive, I remember, more expensive, I remember them. Oh well. Uh, see, you know, it's kind of weird. Um, those slimes, they keep killing themselves. Not quite sure how. It might have something to do with clipping, but they still keep killing themselves and I keep getting their drops. So that's... Okay, what am I missing now? Oh, of course, the non-stacking. Yeah, for some reason, any, the NEI thing has a problem with non-stacking items like this lava bucket. So I should be able just to do this. And that. And one. And... I need the other one there. Okay. Two fume filters. Now these are these are the basic model. I, I'm going to need uh, quite a bit of altar power and some diamonds in order to upgrade them, but that'll be good enough for now. I prefer not to um, do any fume gathering operations in the, in the oven without those because I think it increases the chance from like 10% to 30%. So it is almost always worth it. I am a little bit low on on clay. You know, it's kind of weird. Every once in a while. I'll open something and I'll kind of move a little bit afterwards. I don't know why it's okay that it is, but okay, so I think it's this? No, it's definitely not this. That's the flower pot. Hmm. So I know I want to make soft jars. Oh, that's it. Sorry, didn't do that. So, soft jars. As many as I can see. Okay, so I have a stack of soft jars. I gotta cook those up. I'm gonna need a lot more than this, actually. But that's all I got for now. I need to get more clay. It's certainly on my to list. I'm gonna leave the. Actually, I'll put the glowstone in here. And the sand in there. And uh, I guess I'll put the bar in there. They're really a building material. And, uh, like, like that. Okay, so while that's cooking up, what else can, can I work on? Uh, the altar itself, I think it requires... I think it's a belladonna? Okay, so... The witchery altar requires rowan, stone, exhale of breath, so breath and horn. Breath requires oak, I've got oak. But the, the breath of the goddess requires birch. I don't think I have any birch. So I, I, I'm going to have to go on, a, on an expedition to find that when I get a chance. So what else can I do in the meantime? Let's see here. Okay, so I've got a bit of a shopping list here. And I'm going to need Elizabeth to go and help, help me with it. Hey Elizabeth, how you doing? So I decided to put a chest up here. Oh, it's a creeper outside my door. I decided to put a, a chest out here. With bone and fish, just because I need it. Fish, I know, can heal her up a little bit. Bone helps her to stand up. I usually keep her uh, sitting just for safety's sake. So, shift to go up, L control to go down, sneak to dismount when you are ready. Okay, so I need several different things. I need, I need birch, I need spruce, I need cactus. And a number of other things as well, but those are the main things I need. So she is fast. She's actually she's moving faster than I think can load. So hold on a second. I'm gonna try far. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Occasionally I've noticed a, a, a drop in performance when I do uh, far far render. But hopefully that will not be too much of a problem here. Oh, so we're passing over the new biome I discovered, I found earlier. Tropical Rainforest. So I'm on the lookout for... Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Wait, go back for a second. Elizabeth, can you move over there for a minute? I think I saw something weird. Yeah, that purple tree... Oh, sorry. I, th I thought I had a ladder on it for a second. No, there's this interesting kind of bark. So it looks like there's a desert over there. I think when I head... Southeast. 
And sorry about the lag, this is all new, ter new terrain generation. It's not the best thing to fly into new, ter new terrain, because this is what happens. What the... That's a water village. Very cool. Uh, I think I found another village not too long ago. Oh, was one not seeing anything. Bases. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. This is a pretty. Wow, this is a pretty sheer biome. I, I'm wondering what's causing this thing to be so severe. It could be that I'm using because of the seed I'm using. I mean, I, I did notice that the. Uh, Hey, let, me, let me show it to you. It's pretty. Oh no, that's different. Uh, see, the, see, I had originally was a, was a lot smaller than that. Uh, it, it's just capital E emeralds. But I'm wondering why it has such a severe drop in that. Okay, you know what? This this is a bit ridiculous. That this is really. I'm, I'm sure you guys aren't enjoying watching this, so I'm going to look around for a while and I'm going to basically walk through the air at this rate. So be right back. Whoa, this is. Whoa, wow, this is dangerous. Not only spooky, but dangerous. Whoa, I'm actually a witch. I gotta see this. I am actually a witch. That is so cool. I have a wart, warts and all. Very cool. Oh, uh, I'm one of you. I'm, a, I'm one of you. Nope, you don't think I'm one of you. I wonder why there's no sound, but okay. So I am in a, a kind of a woods biome, and I'm, I'm up against the spawners from one of these things. So I'm gonna try and loot this thing fast. Oh no, no, Elizabeth, no! Ah, you got me poisoned, Elizabeth. No. I want to go back. I want to go back. Oh, got a lag spike, and I'm... Oh. Okay, now we gotta get out of here. You're right, you're right. Okay, well, what is that? Ominous woods. An omin a, witch street, a witch spawner in an ominous woods. Pretty much the creepiest thing I've ever seen. This is getting some weird uh, lag effects right now, because it's sunset. Okay, so I, I, I gotta sit down for a second, just catch my breath. I don't have much time though because it's about to be. Ow. Yep, about to be night time. So so far, I did not find. I haven't found what I'm looking for. I think I actually get a witch's hand off that witch, and I did get a oh, two. Cool. I got a little bit of birch um, wood here. I got some MFR rubber saplings. I'm very happy about that. But um, not very successful in terms of what I was actually looking for, which is the. Uh, the vanilla woods. This is actually one of, the, one of the initial problems I had with biomes of plenty, and it, it has a lot of really cool new kinds of, of biomes and everything. But it, it it makes it a lot harder to find the old ones when you actually want it. I remember uh, for for a while I had the hardest time trying to find animals because uh, in, in one of the worlds I was in with biomes of plenty, uh, it kept generating like like mushroom worlds and um, uh, valleys, badlands and stuff, and there was no cows, no Oh no, not again. Okay, that's it. Okay, I guess it can't be helped. I have to freaking that's like the tenth time I died because of that. Ugh. Okay, so I'm pretty far away, so I gotta go find, find Elizabeth. So back in a bit. Okay, so after quite a bit of searching, I was able to find a little bit of spruce, and I'm quite pleased with that. I've also found a couple more spawners, and I actually found, uh, and I think I found another dragon egg. So pretty cool. Really happy I was able to find at least a little bit of spruce here. Nothing. Oh, time's up. Zombies coming. There's a zombie. Where is Elizabeth? Oh, there you are. Yeah, uh, 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 the, the dragon, ender dragons will actually fo follow you, uh, just, just like just like any kind of a pack animal. 
I'm really happy because she comes in very handy. All right, it's nighttime, so I'm gonna head back to the base and um, I'm gonna go slowly. So hopefully, ooh, there's, no, there's no Wicker Man over there. Cool. So, yeah, I get the feeling that this terrain would look is gonna look a lot better once the terrain actually loads. At the moment, it's just. Whoa, 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 too far, too far. Okay, I don't want to go beyond the ridge, so I gotta wait for this thing to load, and I'll be, be back in a bit. Okay, so I am back in my base, and, um, to be honest, I mean, uh, you know, Elizabeth may be, you know, she's a, she's a fine person and everything, but as a means of transportation, I'm finding her quite lacking, and, and she's definitely not suited for, for, uh, new terrain. Sorry, Elizabeth. I don't know. I got. I'll have to figure figure out some some other way, some other way of uh, getting around. I'm thinking about broomsticks, and at the ver or, or or at the very least, building a balloon using the um, using Archimedes ships, which I've been meaning to look into for a while. But in order to make that, I need a massive amount of string. So I have I need to find a way to get some string going. And my cotton farm is going to be very slow going, at least in the beginning. So I think I, I have any more coal. Yeah, I got a little bit more coal. I'm gonna have to find a way to get some more charcoal going when I get a chance, but... Okay, so I got some spruce. Drop off most of it, and eh, I might as well use this space. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, make this whole area a little prettier when I, when I get a chance. I'm gonna do some proper tree landscaping, but for the moment, it's, it's a space, so I may as well use it to grow some trees, because I am pretty low on, on most of these saplings. One thing, one thing about witchery is that it is very, very um, dependent on saplings. You need massive amounts of it. But I am pleased that I was able to find some MFR rubber saplings, so I can start that work on that. Um, I've been thinking, I'm giving it some thought, and I do want to make an animal farm use, using MFR. Um, but before I do that, I really need to get some more dirt together so I can actually fill up my two spare quadrants and maybe get, maybe get some walls uh, built on these modules eventually. So, a lot, lot going on here. A little bit here, a little bit there. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get as far, as far into witchery as I would like. I do have the, the, the uh, oven ready with, with two basic fume filters, and now I have some hint of rebirth. So I think I might be able to do eggs. Um, no, I didn't find any cactus. But you know what? I think I can get some cactus, so be right back. Ah, now this is flying. I'm sorry, Elizabeth, but... You just, a dragon just can't beat uh, Bat Morph. Sorry about it. Unfortunately, I went, I went over to the dunes and I could have sworn I saw cactus when I was over there last time, but I didn't see any. I don't think I've actually seen any cactus so far in, in this world. So I, I have to look around more and see if I can find some. Yeah. What to do, what to do. Well, for the moment, I'm, I'm going to have to sort of See, then now when I press shift, it goes down, unlike when I write Elizabeth. Hmm. Okay, one thing I was able to do is I went to a, a Badlands biome, and they actually have uh, in massive amounts of clay there. So I was able to pick up quite a bit of this. And I'm going to need a lot of it. My two stacks here. And use the rest of that. Whew. Okay, so all in all, I, w I would say this is, is not a terribly productive episode, but um, I, I, I assure you, I'll, I'll get a little better at it, and um, I'll get the stuff started. It's just I think starting off with witchery, you really need a lot of different kinds of saplings, and I really don't have access to a lot of them right now. So I think it's starting to come up on the 20 minute mark here, so uh, this is Kankadia for Attack of the B Team, and uh, I'll see y'all later.